Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Brookins. We're going to lead with an advisory, a weather alert coming in, and that's because of the chillier temperatures that will be developing throughout the overnight. We've got some frost advisories, not for the city of Syracuse or Onondaga County. It's to the south as well as well to the north and northeast. I'm most concerned with the counties to the south and southwest. Frankly, surprised that Seneca and Southern Cayuga County are not included in this frost advisory because down towards Moravia and Locke and some of these areas, we could find some patchy frost. The coldest temperatures likely south and southwest of Syracuse, where it will drop into the middle 30s, and we'll show you the forecast lows. Also, there is a very slight chance for some frost up here, depending on where the lake effect cloudiness and bands set up. There is a risk for frost not quite as high as down to the south. Now, Syracuse, better chance for frost is actually coming Monday night and early Tuesday. The skies will be clearer, that's why. 45 was the low last night, 55 the high, only a 10 degrees temperature rise. We expected that with all the clouds and then the rain that pressed in during the late afternoon, keeping our uh, lid on temperatures. So we were around average for the low, but below average by quite a bit for the high. And now, tonight, tomorrow, Monday, Monday night below average, below what's typical for this time of the year. Record low was 26 in 1964, 87 the record high, and one hundredth of an inch of rain. This data comes from the National Weather Service at 515, right around the time that the rain picked up to steady or soaking rain. So that number will go up, but it is pretty much a light rain and off and on. During the late overnight hours, we're going to dry out most places. And that'll develop some patchy frost as well as some fog. Monday, partly sunny and cool. Still a chance for some lake effect showers up north in the morning. And Tuesday, best day of the week. Make your plans now if you can be out and about. Sunshine, few clouds will be mixing in at times. But temperatures warming up back up to seasonal levels back into the 60s. We expected this uh, batch of energy to swing down to the south of us during the late afternoon and evening, and that's exactly what took place, giving us this period of rain, some showers around, some drizzle as we go through the evening hours, but it's already breaking up back to the west. Notice what's happening here in Michigan, though. We've got some lake effect clouds, some lake effect rain showers with a westerly wind, and that'll be setting up to the east of these other Great Lakes. So maybe a couple of lake effect clouds coming in from Lake Erie, up north, we see the chance for some lake effect precipitation, some scattered light lake effect rain showers. So it's going to be north of Onondaga County, pretty much between Watertown and southern Oswego County, a band of some light scattered rain showers. Chilly temperatures develop for tonight. The chance for frost, variably cloudy, partly sunny sky for tomorrow. On Monday, still a couple of lake effect showers possible east and northeast of the lake in the morning. Those are gone by the afternoon. Still some cloudiness around, even though high pressure is near us, and we'll clear out tomorrow night. And with a cool already at 8 o'clock, it gets chilly to cold. Here are the low temperatures tonight. 39 in Syracuse, 36 in Cortland, likely a frost down towards Ithaca. Likely seeing some frost in Penyan, down towards Elmira. Chance for a frost in Rome, as well as up towards the Adirondacks. But temperatures rebound slightly during the day. 57 will be the high on Monday. Tonight, our rain during the evening tapers off. By around midnight, there's still a chance for some scattered light lake effect showers up north. Otherwise, variably cloudy, some patchy fog and frost down to 39. Partly sunny in the morning, chance for a shower up north. Everyone's dry by midday with sunshine and clouds, then turning partly sunny. 57 will be the high, so still cool on Monday, but nice Tuesday after a frosty cool start. In the middle 30s, we get up to 64. Sunshine and a few clouds, and more clouds on Wednesday with scattered showers and thunderstorms by midday.